Hey Misfits! Welcome to Weight Loss Wednesdays. So today's video we're going to be discussing food. And apparently Ruger likes to run across the room. But anyways, so we're going to discuss food. So with me almost being two months post-op, I am able to eat a little bit more stuff. Um, I know I should be able to be further than what I'm actually doing, but I'm just not doing it. Um, yeah. But I still have two protein shakes a day. That way I get my 60 grams of protein. And then I have lunch meat, which is like turkey, ham, just normal deli meat. Um, I'm able to eat cheese. So string cheese is my best friend. I love string cheese. And beforehand, I used to have like two, three, a lot of string cheese. Now I just have like one string cheese and I'm full. And I'm just like, what? Like I don't even get to enjoy food anymore. Which is fine. Um, because I'm not much of an eater. But something that I was able to try was cauliflower pizza. So, my roommate and I were craving pizza, and it doesn't help that we're surrounded by, like, um, Papa John's, uh, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars, all of these pizza places. And I'm just like, but I can't have pizza. It has bread. Can't have bread. And pizza's bad for you. Look at all that grease. But we went to the store and we found this pizza that was a cauliflower crust. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can have that. So after much Googling and reaching out through the weight loss community, I can have cooked cauliflower at the stage that I'm at as long as my stomach can handle it. Some people's stomachs can, some people can't. I am allowed to have cooked vegetables, but they have to be soft. Um, pizza is not soft. <laughs> so I was like, eh, whatever, let's do it. So we cooked it and she was like, okay, we're only gonna cook it for 10 minutes. That way it's still soft and chewy. Tell me why she forgot to put a timer on it. And it came out crunchy. Like it wasn't burnt, but it was crunchy. I still eat it. So we cut up the pizza and I had basically got one little slice and I cut it into like little squares and I was able to eat half of one. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Like I know the size of my stomach is just the shape of an egg now, but oh my God. Like I got full off half a slice of small pizza. But a few other things I've noticed that I'm able to have is, so like protein cookies. Like I make my protein cookies like with my protein um, peanut butter cookies that I made. Those were delicious. And I'm going to see if I can find other recipes that I can do because those, like half of one of those cookies gets me full. But normally what I can eat or what I do eat in a day is I will have a scrambled egg for breakfast um, simply because that's what I can handle in the mornings. Sometimes I won't be able to actually eat until like 11 a.m. Um, just because of my work schedule. And then I eat every two hours. So I have basically six meals a day. So for breakfast, I'll have that egg. And then at noon, I'll have a protein shake. Two, I will have some Greek yogurt. At four o'clock, I'll try to have my other protein shake. If not, I'll save that for another time period. Um, depending on how my stomach feels at that point, I will either have that protein shake or I'll just have like a string cheese with like maybe a slice or two of um, deli meat. And then six o'clock, recently I've been having um, some tuna fish um, with some mayo and some little slices of zucchini and then depending on how I feel throughout like the rest of the day if I'm staying up late or not 
I will either have my protein shake at 8 p.m. Or I'll have a sugar-free popsicle. And that fills me up for the rest of the night. But yeah, that's normally what I eat throughout the day. So I'm trying really hard to find different recipes that I can have since I'm allowed to have all these different kind of foods now. Like, I can have food, but, you know, of course I can't have bread, I can't have crackers, stuff like hard cereal, um, basically the grains. Like, I can't have grains, and obviously not a lot of sugar, um, because my diet has to be high protein, low carbs, little to no sugar. So, basically, I've realized that it's like the keto diet, but I need to find recipes. So... If you guys know any awesome recipes, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will definitely check them out because I'm dying to try new foods since I'm getting tired of sticking to the same old, same olds because that would be amazing. But yeah, that's basically it for this week's update. Not much to report. But next week is going to be an awesome update and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. It is my two month post-op two months is coming up and i'm so excited to share it but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time be welcomed and get creative bye